You're watching Inside the Big Band. What are the chances of seeing a mountain lion here? How many people have been mauled by the bears here? How often do people get bitten by rattlesnakes? Are those big hairy tarantula spiders poisonous? Is it safe to be so close to the border here? At Big Bend National Park, employees hear and answer these questions daily. But while we encourage visitors to be concerned for their safety, other serious issues are much more common here. By far, the most risky thing you can do in Big Bend National Park is travel by vehicle. You can greatly increase your chances of an incident-free visit if you always wear your seat belts, never drive when under the influence, drive only when you're well rested, and most importantly, you always obey the posted speed limits. While they may seem slow, there are good reasons for them. Park roads have narrow lanes, steep or no shoulders, sharp curves, rough pavement, but most of all, look out! Abundant wildlife, deer, javelina, rabbits, snakes, birds, coyotes, bears, mountain lions, spiders, and even toads can appear suddenly and seemingly out of nowhere. Drought conditions are especially hazardous since the only fresh greenery may be at the pavement edge. But wildlife can create a road hazard even when it's well off the pavement. Remember, too, that you share the road with bicycles. So slow down and stay alert. The sun is the second leading cause of serious visitor problems at Big Bend National Park. Even on cool days, it's easy to underestimate how much moisture and salt your body is losing. Your kids are even more vulnerable. If you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So ask the locals for current advice on how much water to carry and how often to drink and eat. Minimize caffeine and alcohol. Keep your head and body shaded with a hat, loose clothing, and plenty of sunscreen. Avoid hiking in the heat of the day. Getting stranded or lost is the third most common cause of serious visitor problems here in the park. With over 800,000 acres of remote mountain, desert, and river, visitors to Big Bend can wander and explore to their heart's content. But with this freedom comes risk. Every year, park staff must rescue hikers and motorists who overestimate themselves. Talk to the park staff about road, trail, and weather conditions. Plan hikes and drives within your ability. Take along a map and a compass and know how to use them. Make sure your footwear and all of your gear is in good shape. Take extra water, food, clothing, bright flashlights, and a first aid kit just in case. If you drive the back roads, make sure your vehicle is in good condition and it has a good spare tire, a working jack, and other emergency equipment. Always be sure someone knows where you are going and when you expect to return. Remember to obtain a backcountry use permit before heading out overnight. If you do get lost or injured, stay in one place to conserve water and energy. Cell phones may not work where you go, so know how to signal for help. Carry a whistle and a signal mirror. If your vehicle breaks down or gets stuck, stay with it. It is much easier for us to find a car on the road than a person walking through the desert. Wildfire is a possibility in the Big Bend, especially when grass and shrubs are brown and dry. Wood or ground fires are not permitted in the park, and some restrictions may apply to the use of gas stoves, charcoal grills, and cigarettes. Check with a ranger for the latest information. Okay, okay. So what about all those wild critters? Big Bend is bear and mountain lion country, especially the Chisos Mountains. But mountain lion sightings are as unusual as they are exciting. Most of the lucky few who do see a lion will be traveling in their vehicle. Big Ben's lions are truly wild. That means they think people are the top predators. Even so, never let children run ahead or lag behind you on trails. 
In the rare chance you encounter a mountain lion when you're on foot and it moves toward you, do not run. Do not turn your back. Hold your ground. Group together and pick up small children. Wave your arms to make yourself look big and shout. If the lion doesn't go away, throw rocks and sticks. Prepare to defend yourself aggressively if need be. Day packs and other objects make effective shielding. Report all sightings to a ranger. Much about lions is true of our black bears. However, there has never been a case here where a bear has attacked a human. If you encounter a bear or bears while on foot, the best policy is to back away slowly. Again, do not run and report all sightings. As for other wild mammals you might see wandering about, do not allow them to get near you. Although they sometimes appear tame, all of them are unpredictable. Never feed any of Big Ben's wildlife. Store all food, coolers, cooking utensils, and toiletries in a hard-sided vehicle, preferably in the trunk or in your campsite's bear-proof box. Dispose of all garbage in the bear-proof trash cans and dumpsters. Other animals to watch out for, especially during warm weather, include venomous snakes, scorpions, spiders, and centipedes. But your chances of being bit are tiny, as long as you pay attention to where you walk and place your hands, and you always use a flashlight at night. Inspect your shoes and sleeping bags or bedding before use, and consider wearing high boots while hiking. But as for those great big tarantula spiders, they are quite harmless. Remember, all wildlife in the park is protected by law. Last, but not least, is the question of border safety when visiting the park. Big Bend National Park shares 118 miles of border with a remote region of Mexico. Although they get little use compared to elsewhere on the border, precisely because it is so rugged and so remote, visitors should be aware that smuggling routes pass through the park. If by chance you see any activity which looks illegal, suspicious, or out of place, do not intervene. Withdraw and report it as quickly as possible. A few simple steps can help keep Big Bend National Park safe for everyone.